Trade. Welcome back today guys to the channel Need for Speed Payback with a gameplay trailer I had to do a little bit of a breakdown review on this We've been waiting a long time to see actual gameplay Now I gotta say though it's feeling like we're gonna have the same kind of physics As we did on the previous Need for Speed 2015 now, Obviously with that being said it does look a little bit more refined And a little bit more say easier to drive without the sloppiness and you know say going off sideways when you really shouldn't be. So with all that being said, we're going to be breaking down a few of the things that I saw in this trailer. Starting off with the physics, looking at that front tire right there, we have some serious turn in causing the car to actually just start to slide out. So we are going to see that same style kind of physics. Um, we do have that kind of nitrous where the camera does extend further away from the car that I just saw right there. And now we have almost like a takedown style to the game, almost like a burnout, if you will, where you, you tap the cars and they just explode almost. I do feel that this is just for demo purposes. Uh, the car did go quite far on just a very little tap. So I feel like uh, that's just, you know, in the E3 demo, cars will be harder to take down as you progress through the game. Now I will link you Black Panther's video as well too. He did a really kind of breakdown of the trailer as well. He's actually at EA Play. Unfortunately, I had to turn down my invitation this year. Just so many things going on in my life right now. I just did not have time to make it down to E3. But thankfully though, Need for Speed did upload this video. And I gotta say, I'm very excited for this game to come out. And I'd love to know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Now, if you look on the bottom left of your screen, on the map, you will see a gas station icon. Now, in previous Need for Speeds, uh, you know, that would then refill your nitrous or your cosmetic damage. Uh, not too sure what they're going to do on this one here. Now, on this intersection, we see two black X6s just come barreling in, taking out a few barrels, making some explosions. They do have an ace of spades above their head so i'm not too sure exactly what that is that could be the main story crew who knows at this point or even the actual house enforcers logo i don't know but one of the things that i did want to pull from black panther's episode that he did talk about was the fact that these are actually missions after you do a certain few races he was saying that you have to unlock these as you keep progressing through the game which i think is really cool and it's going to make the game kind of you know just keep rolling without just racing 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 and then have you know interactive missions things like this to play and i think this is going to be really nice going to be just a smooth transition through the entire campaign mode and the fact that when you hit these vehicles they almost feel like they're free to hit other things in the world and i feel like it's going to make for some really cool crash montages exactly like burnout was and unfortunately uh another g35 had to go down not too sure why they keep taking out these damn g's that's all i'm saying they're nice cars man stop hitting them um now in the trailer though as well we do see wildlife around the actual environment you'll see birds hogs flying around which is really cool to see adds that kind of realism factor and i mean there's a lot of them whipping around now right here though these bmws they take about i think three to four hits to actually get taken out which is exactly what i was hoping for as i said not every car should go down like that challenger did at the start hopefully that's just you know, a very easy mission where that's what happens now right here we are given the green light man trains are in this game but are we going to be able to interact with them like we can in Forza Horizon 3? Are we going to be able to jump them? Are we going to be able to try to beat them to a destination? I don't know, but I feel if they don't, it's going to be a wasted use of a train. And that's all I'm saying. Now, we also get a little look here at the extended version from the trailer. So this is actually after she gets on the truck and they're trying to steal that damn Regera. And, uh, well... She did, man. Just exploding out of the truck. Definitely a crazy screenshot right here. Just a slow-mo launch right out of it. Definitely liked it. It got a little bit sloppy hitting the ground. If you do freeze frame it, it kind of cuts a frame. Uh, but definitely no great transition going out of there. And uh, this Rivera is definitely going to be quick. Let me know your thoughts, though, on the physics engine so far from what you see. I definitely would love to do another episode talking about all this. And uh, you guys can see... The cavalry has arrived, man. Look at that. There's like eight cruisers. There's a helicopter. It's going to get crazy, man. I'm excited. I'm hoping that they have the difficulty for most wanted cops from back in the day. And that's all I'm saying. Ladies and gentlemen, Need for Speed Payback, November the 10th, 2017. 
Now, one important thing to note, I did forget to talk about this on my first episode, but I do feel though with the physics that were given, same as kind of 2015, but a little bit more tweaked, I don't think we're going to have access to a wheel once again on this game, which is definitely disappointing. I do hope that we have access to a wheel. Nonetheless, though, I'm excited for this game hands down. We got lots more footage probably coming from EA. And if you did watch the stream, uh, they were showing off a bit of the customization, how it's going to work different kind of set models it's looking almost similar to the crew in that sense you know how they had different variants off-road drag drift same concept but uh there's a lot of customization this time around and i did not think need for speed was going to be able to go above and beyond what they already did in 2015 and just evolve the upgrades and i think that's exactly what they did and uh, I'm excited to see more on this game. I'm excited to see the car list. Are we going to see SUVs as well too? We've seen the X6. Are we going to be able to drive the X6? Which is another question that I also had. I'm assuming EA Play is going to launch a lot of those questions very, very soon. Very excited to see more. Let me know your thoughts down below. Need for Speed Payback. Um, I mean, even with the physics the way that they are, it's going to be a great game, hands down. 10 out of 10. IGN. Let me know your thoughts. Jamor Trade. I'm out. I got Peace. It.